We've just seen how to return the whole data set from a table using a select query, but often we don't want to see all the data. We want to select records which match a pattern we specify. We do this by adding a WHERE clause to the query. Select star from customers, where last name equals Potter. We'll select the one record in my data set where the last name equals Potter. If you've entered different data, then you'll need to change the query so you get some results. We can search for a match on more than one column. Select star from customers where first name equals Harry and last name equals Potter. returns the one result where both columns match the search criteria. Better than using the word AND is to use a double ampersand. Which returns the same result. In an AND query, clearly both columns need to match the query. So select star from customers where first name equals Jack and last name equals Potter returns no results. To return results where either column matches, we use OR. Select star from customers where first name equals Jack or last name equals Potter. We'll return Jack the Pirate and Harry Potter. Just as it's preferable to use double ampersand in the AND clause, it's better to use a double vertical bar or pipe symbol instead of the word OR. You can find the pipe symbol at SHIFT backslash, that's to the left of the Z key, on a UK or US keyboard. So far we've used equals to match whole fields but we can easily do partial matches using the word LIKE instead of equals and percentage marks as a wildcard to match any number of any characters. To match all records with last names beginning with P, we would use SELECT STAR FROM CUSTOMERS WHERE LAST NAME LIKE P wildcard. So from my dataset I get Michael Possum and Harry Potter. How would we widen that query to select not just last names beginning with P, but all those containing a P in the name anywhere? You write the query and try it. The answer is select star from customers where last name like wildcard P wildcard. The same, except we put a wildcard either side of the P. By the way, whether searches are case sensitive or not in MySQL depends on the collation used in the table. We had a capital P in the query, but it would make no difference if we had a small p. Select star from customers where last name like wildcard small p wildcard. The results returned would be the same as the search is case insensitive. Looking at the structure of the table, you may remember that we chose UTF-8 MB4 Unicode CI as the collation for our columns. The CI in that stands for case insensitive, which is nearly always what we want. Now, how would we go about selecting those customers whose first name contains a J anywhere, or whose last name contains a P anywhere? Select star from customers where first name like wildcard J wildcard or last name like wildcard P wildcard. We can also reverse the queries we've just done and look for records which do not match the text we're searching for. Instead of equals put exclamation mark equals. That's the negation operator. And you will get everyone except Harry Potter. To negate like use the two words not like. and you will get all the names which do not contain a P. 
If you got those, congratulations, you've just learnt some of the most important query formats in MySQL. Select star from table name, where column equals in the search text. Select star from table name, where column does not equal exclamation mark equals in the search text. Select star from table name, where column like and then search text with wildcards on either side. Select star from table name, where column not like and then the search text with wildcards. And select star from table name where column 1, like, double ampersand, column 2, like. Select star from table name where column 1, like, or with the double pipe symbol, column 2, like. We'll be making a lot of use of these patterns throughout the course. In the next lesson, we'll create a new table which will store details about items sold and their prices. And then we'll have some numerical data so that we can go on to look at how to search using more comparison operators.